rapping. In your club, we got a lot of weapons. Yeah. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you do it, you're just a certified beast. I know you are, so just go do it. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video and we'll get right into it. So I'm gonna be trying to rebuild the Pistons here. As you guys know, Cade Cunningham is a stud. Sadiq Bey dropped 50 points last season and they just drafted Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran. This team is super young. They're probably not going to be good in real life next season, but we'll see what we can do with this team. Very young, just traded for Alec Burks. I know free agency is going on and a bunch of trades, so if I missed any, I'm sorry. I had to film this at some point, so it's not going to be super accurate, but the roster is accurate, so here it is. Marvin Bagley is a free agent, so we'll see what we do with him. And I did not make all the picks current as well, so that should be accurate. Not too much going on in the first offseason. I brought back Marvin Bagley only on a one-year deal on the restricted offer because he wanted like $20 million a season and he really hasn't done anything to deserve that. So super young team. We'll see what we can do moving forward. But yeah, this is going to be the starting lineup. Let's get into year one. Thought I'd show you guys this right here. So Cade Cunningham is going to be an all-star for the first time in his second year. So he's on the right path to success. Nikola Jokic is going to win MVP. Look at his numbers. He did pretty well. So that's his third in a row. Keegan Murray, Rookie of the Year, not Jaden Ivey. And James Wiseman, most improved. We'll see if we got anyone on an All-NBA team. Maybe Cade managed to get on here somehow. And he actually did. He got on the third team, so he's already a certified beast. Did not expect that in year two. Put up 25 points, 7-7. Seven and seven. Those are <laughs> insane numbers. LeBron-type numbers, really. And I think Cade plays a lot like Luka, so I really like him. Very good passer, can score the ball. Him and Jaden Ivey who is actually on the rookie team are going to be a nasty duo. Looking at the standings here, we were the second worst team in the East. Only the Magic were worse. I was not expecting that, honestly. I knew we'd be bad, but I thought we'd be like a 12th seed, 11th seed, maybe even make the play in. So we're going to have a top pick. I believe the Knicks have our pick, but it's top 18 protected or something like that. And Sadiq Bey and Alec Burks got hurt. Injuries are on just to make it more realistic. And it looks like the Pelicans are going to win the championship in year one. And Zion should be finals MVP as he is. So we'll go to the next season. And it says the Knicks have our pick at number four. But we are going to keep it because it is top 18 protected. So we have a good chance here to get the number one overall pick. And we'll see if we do. The Knicks actually have three picks in the lottery. And we end up with number seven somehow. We dropped three spots. So probably one of the worst scenarios that could have happened. I'll quickly show you guys the draft class for 2023. I did not make this draft class. So if it's not accurate, I'll try to fix some stuff. But we're going to go with this one. And after this, it'll be auto-generated. I know some of the big guys like Victor and Moni Bates, Drake Whitehead. But we'll see who we can get at number seven. We're sitting here at pick number seven in the draft, and I thought about a couple different options. I thought about trading back, trading out of the pick entirely, because I didn't love anyone here. But Scooter Henderson is the best point guard in this class. I know we already have two starting guards, but I think I'm just going to go best available. You can't pass up on talent like this. And the next available, they don't really fit our team either, and Scooter's better than them, so he might even be a trade piece in the future. Pretty simple trade here too. We have a second round pick, I believe number 35. So we're just gonna trade it for two futures from the Celtics. And with us drafting a point guard, I think that brings the Killian Hayes experiment to a halt. We're not bringing him back unless he wants to join on like a super cheap deal, but we're not gonna offer him the team deal. So he's gone. And in free agency, 
Jokic is available, and like I said, this isn't going to be super accurate, so maybe Jokic gets extended. But we're going to go with what 2K gives us, so we're going to offer Jokic a max deal. Who knows, maybe he comes here. Cade's pretty good. He was just an all-NBA player. And we're also going to go after Miles Bridges because there's rumors he might go to the Pistons. Maybe he'll stay in Charlotte, but for now, for this rebuild, in the fun of it all, we're going to offer him a deal. We're probably not going to get Jokic, so we'll probably get Bridges, and we do. So Jokic doesn't usually leave the Nuggets. And we're going to be out here looking like Elon Musk with all this money, so we're just going to throw it at people. Colin Sexton, you want a bag? Come to the Pistons, bro. He's a good scorer, can be a really good player off the bench for us, so we'll throw him that money. And we've got a little bit of pocket change left, so we're going to throw some money at Dylan Brooks, get his bag, and he's going to be a good defender, nice score off the bench for us. And now our bench is looking really nice, so we'll see what we can do in year two. So here's what the team is looking like after that free agency. Cade and Ivy in the backcourt. We got Sadiq Bey and Bridges, who we just signed, is going to play the four. Duran at the center, and then our bench is going to be Scooter Henderson, Dylan Brooks, and Colin Sexton. So we're looking really nice. We'll definitely be improved, you know, except if injuries happen. So we'll see if we can make the playoffs. And it looks like Cade at this point is just going to be an all-star every season. So I probably won't show you every season he's an all-star, but he did make another all-star. And Luka is going to be your MVP. I said Cade plays a lot like him, so maybe he can win an MVP as well. Victor is going to be rookie of the year. Giannis, defensive player. And none of our guys won an award, but Cade should be on an All-NBA team. So we'll see if he is. He's not on the second team. He's not on the third team, so I don't know what happened to him. Maybe his numbers went down. But it looks like we exceeded my own expectations. Third seed in the East. I mean, it's a deep team. It's a super deep team. We spent a lot of money, dropped that Elon Musk bag in free agency. So we'll check out what everyone did here. And Cade's numbers did go down. We did add more talent though, so he must not have been scoring as much, but he still kept up the playmaking. Let's see what we can do here with this young Pistons team. We're playing the Wizards in round one. Not sure who they added, if they added anyone. So we'll see if we can beat them. We lose game one, so it's a close series. And we're super young, so I'm not really expecting a ton. Maybe to win a first round series, maybe a second. But we do have an injury here, which is why we need a really deep team when injuries are on. And we'll make a couple of adjustments here. See if we can come back in this series. And we are down 2-1. to one. Looks like Cade is injured. Or Cade is coming back, actually. So we will put him back in the starting lineup and see if we can get better off of that. But yeah, I don't I don't think anyone else is injured. So we should be able to win this series here. And we're down 3-1. to one. Not looking good at all. Maybe we can pull off a 3-1 comeback. Game 7. And we do somehow. Okay. We're actually playing another super young team in the Cavs in round two, so we have a chance maybe to get to the conference finals with this really young team. And we win game one and two, up 3-0. Are we gonna sweep the Cavs? And we do sweep them, getting to the conference finals for the first time in a long time. Looks like they didn't add much, still the same Cavs team. And we are playing the 8th seeded 76ers, so there's a strong chance we could get to the finals in year 2. But it looks like we do lose game 1. And we come back, tie the series up. I don't care about Moutier, he's not going to do anything. 2-2, two, 3-2, two. Two, one more game, and it's going to go to a game 7 against the 8th seed. And they knock us off with Embiid. So we'll see who played well in this game. Well, really no one from our team. Bridges, the leading scorer. 
and Embiid did his thing. So the Pelicans are going to win back-to-back championships. Okay, I don't know how accessible that is, but Zion wins another one. So in the draft, we didn't have our first round pick, obviously. It went to the Knicks, but we did have four second round picks. So I took some chances on these guys. Maybe they can be depth pieces in case we get injuries. So pretty good right there. In free agency, we didn't do much. We extended Sadiq Bey to a max contract extension. We also brought back Isaiah Stewart on a three-year deal. Our team is pretty much set, so I don't have to do too much unless we start being really bad. But Sadiq Bey got his money. We're set. I think we're going to be another top team in the East. Let's see if we can actually get to the finals this time. And it looks like Cade took another jump this season as he's going to be an all-star starter. Going to be on Team Giannis, so that's pretty cool right there. And when I said he took a jump, this man Cade took a leap. MVP of the season in year three. His numbers are actually down, but we must have been like the one seed or something. Yeah, we were the one seed, so maybe we had the best record in the NBA. Cade Cunningham is the most valuable player. This team is looking nice. Can we get it done, though, with the MVP on our team? We'll see. And here are the other awards. No one else on the Pistons. But, yeah, Cade first team, obviously. Anyone else on an NBA team? Maybe Jaden Ivey. That would be cool. Defensive team. And it looks like I was right. We were the number one seed, best record in the A by a long shot. This team is looking nice. Cade and Ivy, super exciting. But now we just got to win that championship. Put that ring on the finger. Rockets look like they had the second best record in the NBA. And looking at the player stats here, we know what Cade did. Jaden and Ivy, 18 5 and 5, not bad. Pretty good as the second option. Sadiq Bey, we know what he can do on defense. So in round one here, let's see if we can beat the Bucks. What a tough eight seed, because they have Giannis still. I don't know who else they added, but we're going to sweep them. I don't know how. Maybe Giannis is hurt, and he was not, and they actually got Devin Booker, so I don't know how we swept this team, but we did. And in the second round, we've got another pretty good team with Scotty Barnes and Siakam and Fred Van Vliet. Just a good team all around in the Raptors. So we'll see if we can get it done. We're up 2-1. to one, And we do win in 5. And Toronto, we'll see if we if they added anyone. Cade led us in scoring. Looks like they didn't. So something glitchy happened here with the recording. I was recording and it just stopped recording out of nowhere. But we did win in 5 against the Hornets. And Sexton led us in scoring. So that was pretty good. Pretty good addition from him. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the recording, but LaMelo is still on the Hornets, and it looks like they added Gobert, so pretty solid team all around. We haven't had any injuries on this playoff run to the finals, which is insane. So let's see if we can beat the Spurs here. I don't know how they're here, and we'll see if we can beat them. So they win game one, tied up 1-1, one, 2-1, one. One, we're up. And Miles Bridges tears his ACL, so he'll be out for the season. Not good. So we'll just sub in, and it's 2-2. Two two. Jalen Duran's a little bit banged up. But we are going to win the championship in six games, and Cade is your finals MVP. So we already completed the rebuild, I would say, championship. But... We got two more seasons left, if I didn't mention it already. It's a five-year rebuild, so let's see if we can build a dynasty here with Cade. We did extend him, obviously, coming off a championship MVP. Gave him as much money as we could, so he's stacked up. Let's see what we can do in year three. Looks like LaMelo might be coming for some revenge. MVP season after we knocked him out in the conference finals. Going to be pretty scary. Him and Cade going against each other. Going to be a good matchup. So see if Cade made an all-NBA team again. I would expect so if he's just coming off an MVP. 
he actually didn't. That's surprising. Uh-oh, did we not make the playoffs or something? I'm worried now. Jaden Ivey wins an all-defensive second team. What a turn of events. A couple of seasons ago, the Magic and us were the two worst teams in the East, and now we're the two best teams in the East. That's kind of crazy in just a couple years. We'll check out the stats here. Jaden Ivey actually led us in scoring at 20 points per game. So Cade, I can see why he didn't make an All-NBA team. But hey, we were still the two seed, so that's all that matters. Let's check out the team stats. How good were we on offense? Top five on defense, not top 10. Here in round one, we've got the Celtics. We'll have finals experience, so it's going to be a tough matchup. I don't know if they've added anyone. And it looks like we do have a three games to one lead, and we win in five. I don't know why we keep winning in five. Like, that's just our thing or something. But let's see if they added anyone. Bridges led us in scoring coming off that torn ACL. We've got the Wizards up next. And... Bradley Beal is probably going to get a Supermax extension from them. So I don't know if they had any money to even add any, anyone in the next couple years. Jaden Ivey, 27 points. We closed it out in five. And it looks like they added Kyrie Irving, but it wasn't enough. This is going to be a good series. The two worst teams from the last two years going at it. Paolo against Jaden Ivey. Cade against Suggs. Is it going to go down here? What? Why would, Why do we keep winning in five? I don't know. They had Fred Van Vliet too. Paolo's a beast. So I don't know how we won in five. Probably should have been closer. But hey, I'll take another finals appearance. You can't make this stuff up. First we played Paolo in the conference finals. And now Chet in the finals. Chet against Ivy. Shea against Cade. And we win in five again I, I don't know maybe K just likes to win in five he, d he doesn't like to hurt people's feelings and sweep them but we'll win in five Shea with 24 Holmgren's a beast already too and yeah Shea's pretty good going into the last year of this rebuild we've already won two championships which is way beyond what I expected but Cade is a beast Ivy's a beast so hey, we'll take it. Pretty much in this offseason, we just extended everyone. This team's looking really nice, so why change anything? Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can 3 peat make this thing a dynasty. And now Paolo wants revenge. He goes out and wins an MVP, so it seems like whoever we beat gets really mad and then wins an MVP. I don't know how that works, but maybe Cade is just that guy. And Lamella is going to be on the first team after winning MVP last season. Let's see if Cade made it. He did make it back onto the All-NBA scene. And why wouldn't we be the number one seed? Come on, we're just that good. Number one seed again after being second. The Magic are second now. So, hey, maybe it's written... 3 P coming for Cade and the Pistons. We were the second best offense and second best defense. Pretty good all around. We're going to have a rematch here again with the Celtics. Again, they're the 8th seed. I know I don't know why they keep being the 8th seed. But it looks like Jalen Duran is going to be hurt. So that's going to hurt us. But Isaiah Stewart is a really good center as well. So... We're not going to suffer too much. Our depth is going to take a hit. So we'll see what we can do here. Celtics obviously have Robert Williams. So that center matchup is going to be interesting. Let's see though. Let's see if we can beat the Celtics. We're up 2-1. to one. Colin Sexton looks like he's banged up. But he's fine now, I guess. He's just magical. Ivy with a 40 ball. Okay. And it seems that we're on a revenge tour this playoffs because the Sixers knocked us out, I think, in year two or three in the conference finals. Jalen Duran is in er, healthy now, so he'll be good, really good to match up against Embiid if he's still there, which he should be. But Isaiah Stewart held up his own. 
So we'll see. We have a one game lead and we sweep the Sixers. Looks like they added a couple guys I don't really know. And another revenge matchup here against the Magic. Is Paolo going to get the better of us this time as the MVP? And Jaden Ivey is going to get hurt. That's that's actually a huge one. I know that we have Colin Sexton too. But yeah, that, that, that ends up being the factor here. Jaden Ivey, huge piece of our team. Excellent defender. And the Magic are going to be going to their first finals in a long time as well. And they win the championship against the Rockets. So that's going to do it for this rebuild. If you guys liked it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Let me know what other teams you guys want to see in the comments. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. And here's the team. Cade, Ivy, Studs, Sadiq Bay, Scooter Henderson. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.